Hey, yo, this is Dash and I'm out in the garage and uh, as you can see by the title I'm painting a trailer today so uh, just to recap this trailer has been um, it's been great to me honestly enough if you don't know the whole backstory I bought the trailer for $50 okay a buddy of mine knew somebody that was trying to hurry up and get rid of a trailer he knew that my past trailer had got run over and um, He's like, hey, I, I, I have a friend that'll, you know, that'll probably come and take this trailer from you. So I bought the trailer just before the last week in October. And I kind of just, like I said, I bought it. And then I stripped the trailer down. If I can find some pictures of it, like stripped, I'll put them in here while I'm talking. So I stripped the trailer down. And then I was kind of using it just as a flat deck. And then I got it in my mind that I wanted to take the opportunity to build the trailer up and make it my own and that's where this whole build series came from so um, I'm, I'm almost there honestly I want it to be done today with the trailer and you know paint it and then that be the last thing I'm still trying to work out some um, still trying to work out some little issues with the wiring of the lights um, there are some running lights that I'm contemplating putting onto the trailer Right now, the trailer just has the brake lights and the integrated turn signals with those brake lights. Um, I have a new uh, jack. Yeah, I have a new jack with wheel for it. And then I'm going to take the safety chains from my old trailer, the one I got run over, and put them onto this trailer because they're newer and nicer. Everything else is going to kind of look nice. The jack is going to look nice, and those chains are just rusted. So that, those are the last steps. And then I guess... I also have to make a separate video of how much everything costs. Um, I know you guys have been asking me how much I've put into this trailer. And just off the top of my head, it, it hasn't been $500. So, contemplating trying to flip it and getting a bigger one or something else. But, <clears throat> nonetheless, this was a very fun to do, uh, you know, fun welding project in my garage. Um, I learned a lot building this thing. Um, or fabricating building um, and uh, anyway I'm gonna get you up on the tripod and uh, watch me work Alright, so I'm outside, and in case you couldn't tell, oh, wouldn't this suck if I put this in black and white for you guys? Oh, man, I'd be mad at me. Alright, here's the big reveal. There is the color, okay? So it's coming right along. I think I'm going to run out of paint, so I think I'm going to come to a stopping point. So far, I have this half of the deck done, the underside of the tailgate done, and in order for me to be able to lean over the deck, or lean over onto the trailer to be able to paint the different things, I'm not going to, I'm trying to not do the uprights, I mean the, I don't know, I guess the surround, but I'm thinking I'm going to do the uprights and try to paint the outside. And I'll see how much paint I have left. And unfortunately, I also have uh, taken my family to the circus today. So I uh, don't think I'm going to actually finish as it is almost 9 o'clock. And uh, our tickets are for 11.30 and it's about a half an hour ride. Plus, I still have to get cleaned up um, and put this away. So I think I'm going to try to get as much of the, like, the base and... 
you know, some of the underpinnings or, you know, at least, you know, some of this down here, this, this. I took the lights out so I wouldn't have to worry about it. And I was talking earlier about the fact that I have a new jack and new chains. So I'm really not even going to worry about painting this part forward. I'm just going to focus on the raw metal and back. But hopefully, tell me what you think in the uh, comments below about the color so far. All right, so it's a couple hours later. I have gone ahead and gotten some more paint and uh, pulled the trailer out of the garage. Let's finish this. So where we are right now, I told you guys earlier, I have a new jack and chains and I still have to get this wiring all together. So I'm not gonna paint this part right there right now. Maybe not even ever. Um, I focused on trying to get the the deck as well as the underside of the tailgate painted um, and then I decided to try and get as much of the sides and uh, you know anything else that was kind of exposed like the fenders I painted them so at this point I'm going to uh, get a jack get these wheels off so I can finish uh, finish painting this thing I don't really want the uh, the red on the white from the wheels I don't know call me crazy but this is pretty much it I have to finish the deck the tailgate deck and <laughs> check that out the uh, because the tailgate is you know expanded I've pretty much almost painted the entire deck of the trailer without even realizing it all right so uh, let me go ahead and get this finished yes it's hot let me get this finished and I'll set you up on a tripod all right, so before I get back out there and start spraying uh, paint, I had a, one of my friends ask me about what or what I did to to spray. So what this is is a uh, HVLP high velocity low pressure uh, paint sprayer. Uh, this is a uh, 20 ounce high volume low pressure gravity feed spray gun. I got it from Harbor Freight. This was all of not even 10 bucks uh, actually it might have been 12 um, I'm not sure if I had a coupon for them or they were on sale but if you catch them on sale they're like 10 bucks and honestly enough they're darn near disposable so uh, what I did though from this morning to now is I poured some uh, witch hazel in through this so that no paint will get stuck in the uh, like the paint tra track I guess you know from the gravity feed in through the nozzle here um, but as you can see there is some splatter and not and and whatnot um, on the gun or overspray rather on the gun I'm sorry I'm sweating it's hot it's like 90 plus degrees right now and uh, so you see there's a little bit of overspray on the gun itself and honestly enough I really don't care um, if I use this thing again it'll be great if I don't have another one in case I need to touch something up but I'm gonna hook this up and finish so here we go
what's up guys so this has been a long and arduous road but as you can see we are steps away baby steps away from being 100 percent complete obviously when i painted the trailer i took the lights out and i told you guys earlier that i have a new jack and a safety change for this but um I'm gonna call us done. Um, I really wanted to thank you guys for all your suggestions and your help. And not only your suggestions and your help, but your motivation to get this thing finished. So uh, at this point, I know I still owe you guys a, um, like a total of what things cost me. So I'm going to work on getting that together and hopefully by the end of the week I'll have that video out with the total cost. And then I guess, um, I really don't need to see a timeline, it's kind of boring. I kind of just worked on it when I had free time. But for all intents and purposes, this is how the trailer will sit and um, you know we can pretty much start using it more and more from there. So. I still have to, I'm probably still going to have to end up trimming, uh, you know, shaving down or, or uh, using sanding discs or flat wheel on the sides of the, this angle here on the tailgate so it fits in and out of the deck a little better. Now one of the other things I was thinking about is trying to figure out a way to encompass some sort of spring to help me load this thing and unload this thing because it is pretty heavy. It's probably a good 60, 70 pounds, if not more. I haven't waited. All right, but uh, thanks again, as always, for watching. If you haven't already, please do subscribe for more projects and barbecue-related uh, cooking videos. And um, thumb this up, share it, and don't forget to check out the uh, a few of my favorite barbecue toys and tools down in the description below. See y'all next time. One more video in this series. One, I was hoping to be done at 10, but it doesn't seem to be the case. So one more video. If you guys have any questions about this entire build or anything like that, ask me in the comments below so I can have them and answer them before the final video. Thanks again, I'm out.